Okay, let me zoom into this page because I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's pretty small. So as you guys can see here, we have passed the 27,000 mark for holders holding PIN token. A total of 27,084 addresses as of today holding. And I bet if I refresh this page, that number is going to go up. And there you have it, 27,085 addresses now holding Sonar Ping token. This is huge because if we look back over the past 24 hours, just yesterday, we have gone up over 500 holders in the last 24 hours. And why is that? And why is that? Maybe it had something to do with the big announcement that we had earlier today. And the big announcement being, well, on Twitter, just a few hours ago, Chainlink posted on their official Twitter page that they have now partnered with Sonar Token. And anybody that knows anything about crypto and oracles and Chainlink as Sonar, as next gen web three, building the foundation for the entire crypto market knows that this is more of a collaboration than a partnership. And this is huge. This is gigantic. This is huge news, guys, but not a topic I wanted to dive deep into today because I wanted to save this for its own video because I don't want to take anything away from this partnership or this collaboration. And I'm going to have to make a video possibly tomorrow dedicated directly to this partnership and what this is going to mean for Chainlink and what this is going to mean for Sonar and the foundation for the entire crypto market moving forward. But today, I wanted to focus more on technical analysis and the charts because it's no secret we're down about 8% in the last 24 hours. And I know a lot of people will be quick to say that, oh, it was a whole matter of buy the rumors, sell the news, and now we're getting a massive sell-off. But to be honest, I really don't think that is the case with the dip in the chart for Sonar today. Because when we look at the entire crypto market, guys, the entire market is on a downtrend right now. And the entire market is going through this thing that it likes to do every so often where every single crypto in the market is going down all at the same time as the entire market cap goes below 2 trillion 1.94 4 trillion to be exact and Bitcoin sitting at around 43,000 USD. So why I really think that the price dip that we're seeing for pink is not a matter of buy the rumors, sell the news because the total amount of holders has grown over 500 in the last 24 hours. And I think it's more of a case of manipulation. And why do I say manipulation tied to the rest of the crypto market? Because because having Sonar Ping tied to Binance BNB and Binance BNB in correlation with Bitcoin dipping should say a lot as how far we have come in this project. Because a few days ago, I made a video talking to you guys about selling your coins and that as the amount of holders continues to grow, as the as the community continues to grow for Sonar Ping means that there are more people watching. And more people watching are watching for dips and they want your position because I've been talking about over the past couple of months, how Sonar Ping is building the foundation for the entire crypto market. And as today, we've been getting various news about certain listings and little various teaser videos, but not until up until today, we could say a partnership with a multi-billion dollar company like Chainlink was formed because this partnership with Chainlink is not just nothing. This solidifies the fact that behind the scenes, the developers of Ping are working hard to bring us next gen and web three and building the foundation for the entire crypto market moving forward. Just like everything I've been talking about and all these milestones that we've been talking about that we are going to hit are going to come over time. All these listings and an edible listing on Binance, Huawei as in corporation cups. Building the bridge to Ethereum, Unisaw, becoming a multi-blockchain digital asset by integrating real price data with Chainlink, the collaboration with Chainlink, building the bridge to Ethereum, building a future bridge to Cardano, building a future bridge to Solana, building a future bridge 
building a fe building a future bridge building a future bridge building a future bridge to polygon v chain l run all the blockchains in the crypto space is inedible and i see this collaboration with chainlink giving us a lot more than real time price data but rather giving us a foundation and showing us that devs are working hard behind the scenes to bring us everything that they've been talking about and that i've been talking about and guys, these dips in the charts or these minor flash crashes that we experience from time to time shouldn't be anything new to you guys because you know over the next 24 hours tomorrow or by Wednesday or by Thursday, the prices are going to be going back up. We're going to be back in the green towards the end of the month, towards October. The charts are going to be booming again. And we all know that historically September has not been the greatest month for crypto. A lot of people were saying that this year was going to be a little bit different as we were heading towards a $5 trillion super cycle for crypto. But you got to know that there's people and there's groups that want to take your position. The whales are watching now. As we continue to evolve, the community continues to grow. The more holders continue to come, the more multi-billion dollar partnerships that we adapt and we grow for Sonar. There there are going to be a lot more people wanting to manipulate the charts, bring the price down, see where the foundation is so that they can get in because anybody knows anything about real price data, oracles, blockchains, crypto, next gen, web three knows that this is innovation that does not come around all the time. And as we move forward, as developers continue to work and the project grows, all these milestones like listings and building the bridge to all the different blockchains will all come in time. And we are so early in development in this project. We are so early in development in the project. And I'm smiling today. And I am smiling today because you know what? Earlier today, I decided to buy another 100,000 ping tokens and add to my holdings because I saw this as an opportunity to buy more. And if we go back to the BSC scan page, I guarantee you that this number that we were looking at earlier, 27,085 addresses, if I refresh this page, that number is going to go up. Okay, maybe not, but reaching a number over 27,000 holders in the last 24 hours is huge. And so anybody that says the fact that we're down 7% in the last 24 hours was due to buy the rumor, sell the news, is completely wrong. I see this more as manipulation because the whales are watching. They want your position. They want to see how low they can drive their price. They want to see where the foundation is because over the next few weeks, as we go into October, as we go into November, towards the end of the year, towards the end of 20, moving into 2022, we are about to go into a massive super cycle bull run for the entire crypto market. And you guys know I'm going to be making videos and I'm going to be talking about Sonar Ping. And today when we're dipping with Binance BNB and BTC should say a lot of how far we have come. The fact that we are in the picture and moving with the entire crypto market, the development and the project that we've had over the past three months. When we talk about three months on a scale of where, where Sonar Ping will be in one, two, five, ten years from now. We are so early in this project. We are so early in this project. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. As mentioned in all my videos, not financial advice. You got to do your own technical analysis. But if you like the video, smash that like button below. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.